Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And last week we got um, a lot of the little miscellaneous tasks done to open up the modded Minecraft tab or portion of the book. And this week we're going to start on immersive engineering because we need to get storage because my storage back at the base is a mess. So I'm out and about and I was just looking for an immersive engineering house to show you guys. So I've been in and out of a couple of villages. I found two. I don't think there's any in this village. No, there's none in this village. So let's teleport to where there is one. Okay. Um... I have night vision, I think, from my squid pet. Although I'm pretty sure I've been out in the desert and it's looked like this and I didn't have the squid pet on me. But I do get night vision from the squid pet, I think. That's why the sky looks a bit funny, I'm hoping. But this is an immersive engineering house. You can see them in uh, most of the villages. They usually have a brick roof. If I go off to one side, you can see the brick roof and over the door they will have a hammer in an item frame that we can use and outside and inside you will get these boxes these wooden storage crates and they usually have stuff in them some kind of immersive engineering stuff which is oh we've got some sales in this one that's good i hadn't even seen those and the best thing about these um, these crates is that when you break them, it keeps the contents. All right, let's put a bit of stuff away because I've been collecting lots of random things. So, but you um you keep the contents. So, do I have? Yep, yeah, that's enough. So whatever. So you can use them as portable storage. Really, you can fill them up with whatever. And when you break them, whatever doesn't fall out of them. What's in this? There's a blueprint. And you can make projectiles, because you can make guns. With immersive engineering. I don't know if the quest line will go in that direction, but you can make it. Hello, buddy. He's a shepherd. There is also an immersive engineering villager. He has goggles on his head. I don't know where this one is. He's around somewhere. But if you see him, you'll know him because he has goggles on his head. So that's an easy way to pick him out. So let's go home and let's get started. Oh, that's got to hurt. Never mind. Let's get started with immersive engineering. Okay, so... First of all, what I wanted to do was to make some hemp seeds because in immersive engineering, you need lots of hemp seeds. There is um, something called a garden cloche that you can use to um, make that like portable greenhouses and they are very, they're very productive, but we don't have access to those yet but I wanted to make some industrial, at least two industrial hemp seeds so that we can plant them. Do I have a, I need a hoe. There's one. And we have um, three loot crates to open. I keep carrying them around with me and I keep forgetting that we need to open them. So at least if we start with two, two hemp seeds, we'll be able to get more. Okay, that row is full. Let's start here. Okay, one there, one there. They grow pretty fast, which is good. But once we get the cloches going, we don't have to worry about planting them outside. So we've done that. And the first thing, let me see, let's go back. When we opened up 
um, the immersive engineering tab for some reason this auto completed even though I hadn't made those things I'm not sure why but I went ahead and made them anyway I didn't have to make that hammer because as I just shown you you can get it from any of the immersive engineering homes there's usually one over the door but also the hammers are very easy to make you just need two bits of iron a piece of string and two sticks and then the wire cutters very easy as well two sticks and a piece of iron so I've made those I can't remember where I've put them oh no they're here in my inventory so that's that the next thing is to make coke bricks and we need to make the coke oven after crafting the blocks build a three by three by three solid cube of coke bricks and right click the center while holding the engineer's hammer to activate the structure and then we can cook coal into coal coke while producing creosote oil and um, this is kind of like the basis of immersive engineering you need creosote oil for quite a lot of things you need to treat it makes treated planks and you need those to make quite a few of the things so I did put some bricks to cook earlier nothing in there let's put those there no nope. right uh, is it blast bricks not blast coke bricks would help if I could spell okay block no not a block of cold coke that's what we want and that recipe gives us three each and we want 27 so there we go let's go and put this up outside and the thing is about immersive engineering the some of the um, machines are quite large if you've been following my um, automaton series you've been seeing how how large those machines can get which I didn't realize when I started it so we're going to have to think carefully about where we want to put the machines and where we want to put um, all of our uh, power and stuff because you need to be able to route it where you need it so I think I might level out this area and put the machines out here so for now let's just put down the coke bricks so you put them down like this three by three I probably shouldn't have stood on top but then I probably would not have been able to get these top bricks if I didn't stand up here okay let's have it facing this way and I need my engineer's hammer right click and it validates and you get this cool little thing and then if we right click on it you now get this interface so you put coal in here and you can show recipe so coal turns into coal coke block of coal block of coal coke birch wood charcoal but you get less creosote eh, 500 minutes, you get half a bucket you get a quarter bucket so yeah you get less so coal is your most um, is the thing that you need do we have any coal no we don't okay oh we don't have any coal I do have coal nuggets but can you bring this back up into coal yes you can okay let's do that and that's only four and that's not gonna work oh didn't mean to do that the only thing about the coke oven is that it takes forever so if you put that in it would take a really long time oh it's not too bad that's not too bad okay but we need a container to put in that to collect the creosote oil we could put in a bucket 
um, if there's any tanks they can go in as well let's see do they have any a tank um, you have I'm not really seeing no there's nothing really there I did see a drum that we had knocking around but I can't remember where I saw it because a drum might be used you might be able to put a drum in if it's not there you go iron drum let's see if you can use that yeah, there's no creosote yet can I use that no I can't okay I know for certainty for certainty I can use a bucket let's make a bucket I know I probably have buckets all over the place but I know for certainty you can use a bucket and that will collect the creosote instead of putting it oh look there's 500 oh not too bad there's half a bucket in there already so that will collect up okay what's the next thing and we can claim 16 coal coke so we can do oiled up, which is 16 treated wood planks. Or we can do kiln bricks. And that you need sandstone and bricks. And that gives you two. And I think we need 27 as well. No, you might need 16. Okay, two by two. So you need eight. Okay, so you need four of these, so four bricks and right, let's take those for now. And what was it? I think it was two on this side and two on that side, two, four. And again, you make a solid block. right click with your hammer and you've got an alloy kiln so with that you can make alloys so you take two um, two metals and it will break it down it would turn it into one completely new one completely new alloy and you get slag from that I believe do you get slag pretty sure you do from some of them no so what's that for down there then I don't know but you get gold and silver to make electrum. You can get, you can use gold and silver grit. You can use any combination to, of gold and silver to make electrum. And the other one is constantan, which is copper and nickel. So those are the two blends that you use in immersive engineering. I don't know why I keep coming in to use the, um, the chest because you know I could go, just go outside okay blast bricks all right we need nether bricks again we need nine nether bricks nine normal bricks and nine blaze powders how many blaze powders do we have none one Okay, how do we make blaze powder again? Um, blaze petals. Okay, how do you make blaze rods? Smelting. Compressed nether rack. Really? Okay, I think we can do that. Because we have plenty of netherrack. Um, where is the netherrack? Is that nether brick? It's nether brick. 
We have bla oh we have blaze rods. Wrong thing. Okay, blaze rods. If you smelt them, that will give you blaze rods. Well, obviously there's no blazes. So a blaze rod would give you two blaze powders. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's open these. Another beacon. Yet another beacon that we don't need. If somebody wants to tell me what is the 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 a use for beacons, please let me know. Because all I'm doing is just collecting beacons. Okay, we could have probably just gotten four instead. All right, I know one, two, three, four. The medal, we get two blaze rods. That's nine. And um, four by nine, which is thirty-six. Thirty-six, which we can put here. And what else do you need for the bla the blast bricks? nether bricks we do have oh we do have nether rack all right we need 36 so it probably would have been easy just to take out a stack and then halve it and then go from there but you know all right so we've got those two going up anything else that we can do while we are waiting we need the creosote oil, basically. Yeah, reach for the sky, foot bench, but we want to go in this direction because we want the um, the energy generation. But we need to make treated wood planks. So for that, we need eight buckets of creosote oil. Let's how let's see how far we're going with these. Not very far. Wait a minute, is out here chunk loaded? I don't think it is. Where am I? No, it's not. Okay. Alright, um... Let's do this bit as well. I think there's probably just a... Right, so out here should be wilderness. Right, there's wilderness. But all this is mine. And I think there might be... Yeah, this spot here is wilderness. But then here is mine as well. Cool. So then those hemp seeds should grow while we're not there. But we could also... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Did I have any... Bo oh, I do have bone meal. That's already out. And of course I'm full. Uh, nothing really. Oh, I could take out the storage crates. And put them down somewhere. I see. Where do we want to put them? And luckily, they stack. And as you can see, they still have all their stuff. Right, let's go grow some um, some hemp seeds I want that as well while we're waiting no I don't need to do that yet so 
so you just need to break off the top and then you get these industrial hemp fiber and you get some more seeds and you just keep growing them until you have tons because you oh shouldn't have done that and of course I'm full all right let's put these not that one yes make that the industrial engineering one You need tons of hemp seeds. Because you need them to make sales to make power generation. Really? Okay, let's get these to grow up. So it looks like you get one seed per plant, which I didn't know. No, that's not what I wanted to do. And like I say, you just need to, to chop off the top. You don't need to break the whole plant and then it just regrows. Uh, I got six seeds from that. And rinse and repeat. That's three, four, five, six. Counting with Shane. The return of the popular children's program. All right, how many? all our fibers we should have been getting fibers at least oh yeah there you go 27 I am turning blind I must be but then when you have the garden cloche because you need the engineers work table for that which we will work towards but once you have the cloche, it will do all of this automatically. And then you don't have to worry about that. Do we have a stack of seeds? No, because we have chili peppers. Nothing else. Okay. We have seven seeds. Seed within a couple of minutes we have almost a row of seeds and then the thing is once you've finished once we don't need to grow them outside you still need the seeds because you have the refinery which you can use to um, make biodiesel and it uses the seeds from uh, hemp seed, well it uses hemp seeds. You can use other seeds as well but I think you get the greatest yield from hemp seeds. I'm not 100% on that so don't quote me but I think you get the greatest yield from hemp seeds. Okay. And the last one. There you go. So we have, we have just over a stack, which is fine. Like I said, it's going to be needed later. You need tons. So it's better to have it growing now. Actually, how many seeds do we have? Just the one, five. Let's start on the second row. Wow, that got really bright very fast. Right, we'll leave those growing. 
and let's go get our blast bricks. Twenty seven of those. And what do we get? We get treated wood plank. No, we don't. <laughs> I think I'm about above myself at that. Oh, we get steel ingots. Awesome. Although, I'm pretty sure there's more than one way to make steel. Steel. Because you can use... There's uh, steel from immersive engineering and there's steel from tiny progressions and it's a lot easier to make steel this way than it is in tiny in um, immersive engineering and it doesn't take as long but that is let me see we want this three by three but that is for another day I think because I'll need to go and get some coal. Actually, I think we might be able to get coal from the nether. When I'm finished this, I'll have a look. Oh yes, this is too high. We need another level. Three. And again, you right click with your engineer's hammer. And you get the crude blast furnace. And with that, you can turn iron into steel and you get slag as a byproduct. So uh, um, apparently, it's more um, efficient to burn a block of steel. Burn. Well, not really burn, but that went in there. Cool. But it's more efficient to use a block of steel rather than um, steel ingots. Do I not have a thing out here? I thought I did. This thing. Crafting table. Are we full? All right, let's put those in and have those going. Of course, you need coal coke to power it, don't you? Yeah, you need coal coke to power it. That's what the bit down there was for. Okay, let's go get some coal coke. Uh, where did we put it? Which side? It's up there. As soon as we got it, it's gone. So yeah, that is an incredibly slow way to make steel. See, oh look. So you've got the um, immersive, we've got the bucket of creosote oil. We need some planks. Any one of these will do. I really need to drop off some of this stuff. Right, let's put this back in here. Let's see what we can get rid of. A couple of things, okay. All right, planks. That. Turn the logs into planks. Put it in that configuration, bucket of creosote oil, and we get eight treated wood planks. So let's put it round again. And let's go collect some more creosote oil. Like I said, like I said if there was a bigger tank, we could have um, we could have done this easier. And we have all of our, tree, our bricks. 
but that was very much rinse and repeat get your bucket go back and like I said in my immersive engineering series there is a tank not with immersive engineering but from one of the other mods and um, that holds like eight buckets I'm surprised they didn't put anything in here like that all right so we've got all our treated wood and is there anything we can do before we finish because I think looking at the clock it's about that time to finish okay the one wire oh yeah now we're starting to get into it we need we have to make sure we have lots of copper and I don't think I have loads of copper those bricks I have 72 copper so I'm going to have to go mining I think I'll have to do that so in that case this is where we're going to stop let's go and see how our plants are doing so I can finish off the episode oh we got quite a few growing that's not too bad so this week we started our foray into immersive engineering um, next week we'll be able to at least make our copper work our cup cup <laughs> copper coils and wires so that we can get a rudimentary electric circuit going electric well yeah power really uh, we can also make the workbench as well. We need to make vacuum tubes, okay. Get our fabric growing. We have three sails, we need more. And then hopefully get our en energy generation going and then that should open up the advanced storage time. And what's under it? Oh, okay. Easy transport. What's easy transport? I don't even know it it would have been nice if it would have said where these things are so then I could look and say well okay well you need this to unlock this but don't tell me it needs easy transport if I don't know what easy transport is but yeah that is unless that's an immersive engineering thing um that's immersive item transport. That's the only transport I can think of off the top of my head. I don't know about roots and rustic and whatever. But, you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. But next week, that's what I want to do. Continue in this direction so at least we have the water wheel going. And then we can start on um, getting our advanced storage. Because this is always fun. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.